Okay, I want to go over two parables of Jesus Christ and to sort of counter this false teaching that you're building up talents or you're building up crowns and the better you are, the greater you are, the more crowns you're going to be given, that sort of mentality um, that you'll hear a lot of like prosperity gospel teachers or whatever you call them, uh, you're not going to get extra rewards. That's not in the Bible anywhere at all. All right, and so I'm going to try to make that very clear by showing you two parables. But first, let's establish uh, in Ephesians 2, verse 8, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. So you'll be crowned, you'll be given a crown, a crown of life. Now if you're expecting more crowns than that, boy, you're going to be, you might be heartbroken because if that crown of life isn't enough, well, you could be in trouble. All right, so first of all, um, remember, Jesus says in John 15, verse 5, For without me, ye can do nothing. So it's not of yourself, it's what was done for you. And you shall be given a, a, a crown of life, and, and everlasting life, and it is a, the gift of God. So let's get into it. Okay, so in Matthew 25, Jesus says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he had received, then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that received two, he also gained other two. But he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. And so he had that received five talents, came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said, said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler of, over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Notice the guy that had five talents gained five talents. And the guy that had two talents gained two talents. They both received the same reward. Okay. That means they were both saved. Okay. I'm going to make the, this easy to understand. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou, where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money into the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which has ten talents. For unto every one that has shall be given and he shall have abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken away even that which he has. To make it simple, to make it easy, it's if you're born of the Spirit of God, even what you have or what you have, you'll be given abundance. 
But if you're not saved, even what you do have will be taken from you. All right, and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. All right, so... Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. So it, there's going to be a separation, the saved from the unsaved, right? And if you're part of the saved, you're not going to get extra crowns, extra rewards, or what have you, okay? Okay. Your reward is eternal life. There's no greater reward than that. Nothing compares to that. Make no mistake about that. So, now, having established that, let's also look at Matthew 20. Okay, for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And then, or I'm sorry, and they went their way. And he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and saith unto him, them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man has hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that, ye, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise, likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us which has borne the burden of the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. Okay, so remember what I started out with. Jesus says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth me, and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing.